I earned over $1,300 mining crypto passively in the month of March. And today I want to show you guys all the projects that I am a part of and the earnings breakdown. So you guys can see if this is a project that you would be interested in. I figured it'd be way easier to do a video like this rather than making a dedicated video for each project. If there is a project that you see on here that I haven't made a video on, it's on the way. So stay on the lookout for that. As well as if there's any projects you think that I might be interested in, please feel free to put them in the comment section below or join my Discord server and tell me there because I'm always looking for new projects that I can share with the community and we can earn some more passive income. But let's get into it. Thank you so much to Swan Castle Crypto for giving me this idea. Your videos are very uh, meticulous and I really like the way that you format this. So I took your format and I, I made it my own. Uh, obviously changing it to the progress projects that I'm a part of. Uh, and I guess we can first start off with the honey token. And this is in order of most earnings to lat to least. So you can see the profit loss and I'm going to go through each project. So first I want to talk about high mapper. High mapper has been a cash gold mine for everybody that has been involved in it for the past couple of months, especially if you have held the tokens from when you were a part of the project in the early days, which I did hold. I still haven't sold them. I'm still holding them. And the they, they just accumulated so much in value. So it's been a really great project. In the past month, I earned 4,591 tokens, which at the current price is equivalent to $625 in revenue. It did see a decrease in the price by about 20%. So I'm a little bit upset with that. I would like to see the price at like 23 cents, but as for driving, I actually drove less. I ended up giving one of my dash cams to my friend and he drove it and we split the earnings 50 50. So I could have actually earned more had I changed the revenue split or anything like that, but it was my friend. So he got a decent chunk of honey as well, which he sold. I'm still holding all of mine. And as for the future for high mapper, I'm not sure if I want to continue to have both of my dash cams. I don't know if I want to keep the dash cam S I might end up selling it just for the fact that I can actually get a really good price for the device right now and use that money to buy more dash cams or buy the honey token. And just, it, it just seems like the best case scenario for me. I'm not really earning enough, uh, with the second dash cam. It, it's better off if it's in someone else's car, but That'll be a topic for a different video. The next project is PiFi. I did cover PiFi on my channel a few months ago, and PiFi ended up just going live on March 29th. So that was two days ago. And they ended up giving me an airdrop equivalent to the amount of tokens that I mined in their test net, which was equivalent to $192. So that was nice to wake up to. My Helium mobile phones, I have two mobile phones. I'm actually thinking about turning one of them off, but I did get my sword chain device finally working. So it would actually be beneficial to keep them both on because then I can keep one connected to sword chain at all time. But I earned 40,719 tokens. The price actually didn't change at all. And that was equivalent to $142. So it's still very profitable to keep both of these devices on. One of my devices, I forgot to put it in the notes, but the amount of referrals that I have has actually made it so that I'll have free cellular data for, I think, I think I have 16 months free, which is crazy. Carrier one is an NFT. Uh, I got for free. Uh, they gave me this carrier pigeon NFT, which was, I think it was like 30, 30 extra dollars, uh, added to my portfolio. So, uh, didn't earn, or I guess I, I did earn $110 for that device. For my GPU rig, I am mining Bitcoin. The current price or the current coins that I earned over the past month is 0.001123. Uh, I just turned this rig back on this month and that is equivalent to $80. I'm using the Zill hash algorithm on um, Hivon using nice hash. I know that's kind of a big hit on the fees, but I just wanted something easy. It's not the most profitable algorithm for all of my devices, but it's the more the most uh, cost efficient algorithm. So I just decided to stick with that. Yes, I'll be making like, I don't know, $3 less a month, but at this rate, it's not really worth it to me. I'm just trying to get as much Bitcoin as I can. There's no cost with that, thankfully. Uh, I don't have to pay electricity at that location. My crank devices, I have six crank devices. They earned 1,771 tokens. The price did decrease quite a bit, but it still was $75 approximately in revenue. Uh, and I actually just moved th 
three of my devices to a different location. So we'll see how that affects the earnings in the coming month. My Hyfex GeoNet station has been going strong. It's been working amazing. The price actually saw almost a 50% increase and I earned 330 tokens approximately. I didn't feel like doing the math. So I just did my daily average times it by 30. That averaged uh, $70.82. Keep in mind, that's with hosting 25% of my rewards is all I get. So I'm actually earning uh, four times this amount. So just, I mean, if you're interested in one of these devices, I would definitely hop on that. Helium Mobile Indoor Hotspot. I actually was thinking about selling this device, but it's been working great. I mean, $54 a month for doing nothing is really awesome. $1,500 or 15,401 tokens earned. Again, the price didn't change. It's the same as the Helium mobile phones. And I have a little calculation here. It's gonna take $108 remaining to break even. So about two more months and that device will have paid itself off. This is with the, the device on and having no devices actually connected to it. If you have devices connected to it, you earn substantially more mobile per day. Uh, but I just have it plugged in and no one even connects to it and it still earns, which is awesome. I don't know how long that's going to last. JCC is Jaeger Country Club. This is an NFT project I've been a part of for actually this is going to be the fourth month. There is a three month ramp up once you buy the NFTs. I still need to make a video on this. So the first month I actually received my first earnings from these NFTs, which was $14. I'm expected to get $14 this month as well. Helium IoT. I mean, the only reason I keep it on is because it's with my crank devices. So it's double mining with no cost, no extra added cost to me. Only two of them are actually working out of the six crank devices that I have. Um, four are set up for IoT and only two of those are working. And I don't think they're working that well anymore because I'm only making five cents, which is just not good. Not good at all. Going over to the Modus Mini, I actually just made a video talking about this, trying to set it up, failing miserably. I had a very difficult time setting that up. I finally got it set up today, so we'll be able to see how many tokens I can start to earn. And for my uh, April earnings, I can show you guys hopefully how many tokens I have or uh, how many tokens are airdropped if they, they go live or anything like that. Grass is an interesting project. I did uh, make a video on them. I earned 329,800 tokens. That includes referral earnings, so I couldn't really separate it out because it only shows you. Uh, it's actually really awesome that they they separate each month into an epoch, so you don't have to do any math. You can just kind of pick that. Teleport is a competitor for Uber, uh, and they don't have a token yet. They're they're kind of still on testnet. They have a few trips going on here and there, uh, and. It's a really, really early project and it's a really good project, but you get rewards for referring. What those rewards are, we do not know yet. So I'm going to have to wait and give you guys an update on that. Demo, I actually uh, just was in talk with the company and I am, I am getting a device uh, sent out to me. I'm not sure when uh, they are back ordered. So I could be seeing, you know, all the way up to, to 12 weeks from now and then I finally get the device. But I'm really looking forward to getting the demo device and plugging it into a car and doing a little split action with the sword chain. I do think demo is a superior product just on the basis that you don't have to connect your phone to it all the time. Xnet is a project I've covered extensively on the channel. I would say I had a couple live streams talking with them. I had them on my podcast and, and so, so uh, it's, it's a good project. The only issue is my device was soft band. What ended up happening, is basically Xnet offloads this data through AT&T from just my basic uh, comprehension of it. And AT&T can choose to kind of soft ban your device, which basically says, hey, we're not gonna pay you because we don't think the device is providing any beneficial data to the ecosystem. So why will we pay you? So I had it set up in my home and I got soft banned and I think it lasts 30 days. So I ended up moving it to an office, which will get a lot more foot traffic and people can automatically connect their devices if they're on AT&T or any uh, participating carrier. And then I can earn through that. Going on to some other devices here. This is just like my last three. I have Fry's uh, crypto bandwidth miner. I was actually sent this by Fry. I feel like I should 
go again and, and make some more content on Fry. When I first covered the project, it was so new and there was so much information missing that I just felt like it wasn't worth the time. Uh, and I guess looking at the prices that everything's at right now, I, I really should get that set up. The Ant Miner L3 Plus, it's uh, <laughs> 504 mega hash. It's mining Doge and, and Litecoin. It's a dual mining. It just has not been profitable enough for me. I mean, I, that's what I have here in the notes. Uh, the electricity cost just to keep this running. Uh, it's actually losing money uh, every every month. So it's just not worth it to me. I might end up selling this device. I think I paid like 250 for it and they still sell for 250. So I might end up just packing this device up using that money onto something else. This past month, aside from crypto, I've been going through everything that I own, trying to kind of minimize the amount of stuff that I have. So I've been selling so many things. I've had a lot of retro uh, consoles and gaming consoles and, and technology that I've just kept and I've just sat on for so many years that I'm just like, I, I don't need this. Someone else can get much more use out of it. And that's kind of where I'm at in terms of my life. Aside from crypto, I'm just trying to minimize the amount of stuff that I have and get as much money out of that as I can, throwing everything on eBay for auctions, whatever it sells at, I'm just accepting it because at this point, the cost of me just having to carry it with me if I have to move or anything like that, it's just not worth it. Uh, and having to get a storage container or anything like that in the long term, I just, I wouldn't uh, want to do that. So while I have the time now, I'm going through and selling everything. I've sold PlayStation, uh, original Xbox, a bunch of Game Boys, uh, some Apple stuff, but that's just kind of where I'm at in terms of uh, like real life. <laughs> and then I'm using that money to get more stuff. So um, you guys can see that the quality of this video is a lot better than my typical videos because I just bought a new camera. I'm trying to get everything dialed in so I can kind of just go into my future. I'm about to graduate school and provide like really good content for you guys, really high quality content. And hopefully moving forward, we can, can just continue to grow. And I'm really looking forward to uh, making more videos for you guys and going into the bull run. But as for the summary for this video and how much I earned in total, I earned $1,169, which I didn't even realize how much I was actually earning per month until I looked at and made this sheet and $180 in NFTs, which brings my total to $1,349.88, which is absolutely mind blowing to me. I mean, I'm not doing anything. I'm, I'm not doing anything and I'm earning all that. And it's just awesome. Especially, I really do like the situation I do have with GeoNet being a 25% rewards just for hosting it. There isn't also an option to do a fixed fee, but I, I mean, $71 a month for free extra. That can cover a lot of things for a lot of people. That can cover almost, actually, it can probably cover all of my subscription costs with just one project, which is awesome. It can pay for all the podcast hosting, my website hosting, Amazon Prime, any sort of subscriptions I have. And that's kind of the goal that I have with my crypto tracker that I'm making. I'm trying to figure out how much I'm making a month just to make sure I'm not losing money. On top of just seeing it grow over time, I think is a really good idea just to track instead of just looking at um, coin market cap and looking at my portfolio, actually taking the time, writing all the data down, figuring out how much I have earned, how much I have spent, and kind of seeing uh, if we are still in the green. But that's all I got for this video. If you guys have any questions about any of the projects that I did cover, please feel free to put them in the comment section below and I will do my best to answer them. You can also feel free to join my Discord server where we can talk more. And once again, thank you, Swan Castle Crypto, for this idea. I'm probably going to thank you in every time I make this video, this portfolio video, because it really is a good video. And the content that you have uh, brought to the space has been really important and really great. And uh, yeah, so I'll see you guys all in the next video. Have a great one. Peace out.